Today we're taking a look at the Joy Ed Pi Energy Mini, a power supply for the Raspberry Pi that can run on anything from 6 to 36 volts. Let's take a look. We're all familiar with powering our Raspberry Pis from a USB power supply. Of course that relies on there being a wall power outlet nearby. What if you need to be flexible, say in an environment where you have access to other types of power supplies, maybe in your car, running off the battery, solar panels, and so on? Well then, USB probably won't work best, and this is where the Pi Energy Mini comes in. As you see on the back, it claims to be very compact, and it puts out the required 5.1 volts DC at up to 3 amps, and is compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4 and 5. It is nice and small. Taking a closer look, there's your heatsink, the power input terminals, and you see a connector for a 5 volt fan. This is important if you're going to be running power hungry external peripherals where active cooling is recommended. It also has a power button on the top right there. Let's start our test with the power supply I have for some lights that no longer work. This Delta Electronics supply should be 12 volts at up to 3.3 amps. But let's check the voltage at least. Yep, 12.26. Close enough. Let's get this connector off. Check the polarity. It's normally positive center, but just to be safe. All good. And then get the wires into the terminals. Obviously, I wouldn't use a cable like this out in the field. We'd need something more robust possibly with some heat shrink tubing, but for testing this is quite a sturdy connection. I'm not trusting this on my Raspberry Pi 5 just yet. Let's check the voltage at the 5 volt fan output. 5.19, good enough for me. Now let's mount it. Kill the power. If you're uncertain about which pins to connect this to, I think a mistake there could be costly, so just make sure that the mounting hole on the top left of the Pi Energy Mini lines up with the hole on the Pi below. At any rate, it's the five pairs of pins on the far left. And plug the power in. Hmm, no response from the Pi. Oh right, remember the power button I mentioned earlier. There we go, we have ignition. What if you need the Pi to power up immediately when the power becomes available? Interestingly, this module is microcontroller based, so if you would prefer the inverse operation to automatically switch on when you turn on the power, you can reflash the firmware on the micro. Okay, the system works now. This monitor is powered straight from the Raspberry Pi's USB now, so in a case like this, you probably want active cooling. With that successful, I thought, let's try a beefier power supply. Here's an ancient 19 volt 4 amp power supply from an HP laptop. Test, snip, test again, get the wires in nice and snug, onto the board, hit the power switch, and we're good to go. And there you have it, the Joyet Pi Energy Mini, just the thing to make your power option for the Raspberry Pi more flexible. If you need more information and even product and data sheets, they're available to download from the Elector Store website. There you can learn how to flash the microcontroller if need be, and also what to do if you need to free up the GPIO that this board uses. Once again, happy computing!